So let's jump right into our 2018 Dirt Nolly rebuild. I gave myself a deadline. This truck has an appointment and we only have a few hours to make it. We gotta get some work done. And I gave myself another project in the meantime. So the first thing we're gonna do is throw the back window in it. We'll put our primer around the pinch weld and normally we'd put the urethane on the body, but since GM couldn't manage to get this window to seal right, I decided to put the urethane on the window. When I took the window out, the bottom wasn't even sealed. I thought I would make sure it was sealed this time. Now I'll put the hinge in for the tailgate. Now after a game of hide and seek, we found all our clips. We're gonna put those back in. Just squeeze them and push them in. I'll put our wheel liner in. Uh, the clean freaks are going crazy now. I put dirty parts on. Oh well. Screw it all in. I didn't tighten up all the screws yet. Run them all in there so you can move the liner around a little bit. And then when you get all of them in, then tighten them all down. Now we put our wheel opening molding on. Much easier to put on than take off. Just pushes on. And then two screws in the bottom. Put our mud flap on. Now put the top bed rail cover on. It's got a couple alignment tabs. Just make sure they're all lined up. Once they are, just snaps into place. Now we're gonna do a little fishing. I tucked the wiring for the camera and latch up into the tailgate, so when I'm moving it around, it isn't getting caught on stuff. And then you just dig it out of there, it's not super hard. Now we're going to remove the dealer name from the tailgate because they're no Mark Wahlberg, so they don't get to stay on my truck. Now we can put our tailgate on. Slide the driver's side in. And just slide the passenger side down into the tab. Now we'll put our straps on. They used to just clip on, but now they bolt on. Not sure how I feel about that. So we'll bolt them in. Now we're gonna install the tensioner for the soft opening tailgate. Open the tailgate a little bit, it'll slide on. Then just put the nut on. Those are the bolts that protrude through from the hinge on the other side. run our wires through the bed so we can plug them in underneath. And now our gate opens like it should. We'll install our aftermarket tie downs. Pretty easy. 
Just put them in, tighten them up. Things are actually pretty handy. Use a screwdriver to tighten them a little more. I'll throw the tail light in. Yes, I cleaned it beforehand. Make up for my wheel liner. Just push it in. Put our two screws in it. Now we gotta put our running board on, but our bracket is bent. So we're gonna have to straighten it out. So we'll just do the opposite of what the accident did. Twist it back. Put it in the vise. And we'll just pull the running board a little bit. Let's see how that looks. There's our bracket. And there's the other bracket. Ours might actually be straighter. So now we'll throw the running board on. Help hide our DEF tank. As it just looks so attractive down there. Tighten it all down. Now I'm going to do a little rust proofing where we repaired it. I'll put a link in the description for this kind of cavity wax. It doesn't come with those ends on there, but you can buy them separately. They're just nozzles. This is 3M. Pretty good stuff. I'm just doing the repaired area right now. Like I said, we got a deadline. So we're just finishing what we have to from the accident. We'll actually finish the truck later. We'll make it better than before the accident. Make sure we get plenty of wax in anywhere that we welded and the rest of the rocker in general. I won't do this again when we rust proof the rest of the truck. Put a little rust proofing on the frame. That part I will redo when I get the right stuff. But in the meantime, I don't want it rusting. Put all our caps back in. I wonder what's in here. It's not what you think. Oh, did you think it was dirt? Maybe it was what you think. In the pile. Now we'll put our C pillar trim in. Fish the seat belt through. Line up the alignment tabs. Push it in. Put our screw in there. Put our seat belts in. Put our other seat pillar trim on. Same way as the other side.
this side of the gasket didn't play nice, so we got to pull it out. Bolt in the bottom of the seatbelt. Now we'll put in our sill plate. We got a new one because our old one was smashed. Just snaps in. Now we can put our seats in. This is the passenger side rear. Just drop the back down into its hanger. Then line up the two bottom brackets. Now I'll put the driver's side rear seat in. This one has two brackets on the back side that you gotta slide in. And then the two feet at the bottom. Push them all on there. We'll put our nuts on there and tighten them down. Power tools this time, I don't have to do it by hand. Bolt the two seats together. Put the other sill plate on. Everyone asked how you fix the seat when the airbag deploys. Well, there's two options. Either buy a new airbag and a seat cover, or you buy a used one that's never been deployed. The used one is usually cheaper if you can find them. I got lucky and I found this one, so we're just gonna throw this used seat in. And just set our seat in there, clip the two front brackets in, now we can plug it in, move it out of our way so we can pull the seat belt in. Bolt the seat down. I move the seat down so we can put the headrest in. Put the bottom trim panel on to cover up our wiring. Just slides back into place. I'll put our floor liners in. I know, they're dirty. Whatever. Gotta leave something for the detail guy to do. Now for the fun part. We're gonna put the moldings back on. I know, some of you guys don't like all this chrome stuff, but I think the truck's a little plain without it. So use a razor blade to get most of it off. Now I can use our little magic eraser to get the rest of it. After we got it all cleaned up, wipe it down with some wax and grease remover. Now I'll apply some adhesion promoter. It's pretty good stuff. Helps the tape stick to whatever you're putting it on. Let it dry for a second, we can put our two-sided tape on. These moldings are pretty easy. Just two pieces of tape, run them down the length, cut the ends. The real challenge awaits me there, the letters. So 
So the letters, they're a little bit small to use the magic eraser on, so you just do it with a razor blade. Try not to cut your fingers. Not always successful with that part. I was this time though. I shed no blood on this job, believe it or not. Takes a lot of patience. I do generally stop and come back to it, do a couple letters, go do something else, do a couple more letters. Like this, I lost interest. So now we're gonna put our little bed protector on. This is the front edge, keeps the rocks from chipping it up. We just put our two-sided tape on it and just stick it on. Now we can go back to these horrible letters. Put our adhesion promoter on. Now I know you're asking why I just don't buy new ones, and it's because I'm not made of money. These things cost about 70 bucks. So if you think about it, if I spend an hour doing this, I made $70 an hour. It didn't even take me that long. There's also companies that'll sell you the adhesive already cut out. All you have to do is clean it and reapply the stuff that they send you. But that ends up costing about half of what a set of nameplates does. If you don't have the patience to cut all these out, there is one easy way to do this, and that's get somebody else to do it. Unfortunately, that somebody is me today. I don't want to waste any tape. So since we're only using half on each letter, I'll just stick them both on there. Usually use an exacto knife, but forgot to bring it today. Now it's time to put our moldings on. It's kind of torn. If I should put the moldings on correctly or match the other side, I don't think I've seen a single one of these trucks that they're on straight. So I split the difference. Put them on a little bit straighter, but still screwed up enough to match the other side. It is the beginning of June here in Chicago, so of course we have to use the heat lamp because why would it be warm? I made a template off the other door for where our letters go. So now we're going to stick them on this door. I have to put all the letters down below so that I know what goes where because if I don't, who knows what I'm going to end up spelling. So now we're on to our other project. We need this part done for tomorrow, actually. At the time of filming this, anyway. Just gonna drill press to drill a couple holes in our pipe. I 
If you follow me on Instagram, you already know what this is. Probably my favorite part of the job so far. I like fabricating things, even unnecessary items like this. It will be necessary though. Put our cap on. Now we have an old trailer hitch. The ball had been welded on and the hitch itself is cracked. So it's really no good. Can't tow a trailer with it anymore. So we're gonna repurpose it. Weld our pole on there. And because we can't just build something without making it indestructible, we're going to over-engineer this. Making a spear, in case I want to do a little spear fishing later. I don't like just fishing, thought I'd give that a try. We'll weld our spear on here. There you go. I don't think that's going anywhere. We'll cut the protruding ends off of our eyelets. And there we go. Our flagpole's done. I gave it to the painter and he painted it up for me. Probably a little over engineered, but that's how I do things. In case I need to pull a flag or a car. And that's what I needed it for. 12 hours after the truck is finished, and it's already found new dirt. We're flying the flag at the Route 66 raceway, so we're taking it out on the clay track. And I would have a video for you, except I was too excited to drive around the track and not paying attention and didn't bother to record the video. So you just got the approach to the track. So thanks to everybody that came out on Memorial Day weekend. So the truck is done now. At least what was part of the accident has been finished. But we like to make it better than before the accident. In the next video, that's what we're going to do. In that video, I'll also have a rundown of all the time I spent on this truck. But right now, I have to move on to another project. It's going to take a little while till you see this one again. But I promise you, it will be back. So like this video if you found it interesting. 
Share it if you think somebody else might. Subscribe if you want to see what the next project's going to be. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.